My name is Janine Johnson and I live in Oslo, Norway. I am a fashion designer with over 17 years uh, industry experience. And it was just in the last four years that I learned how to use uh, 3D apparel software. So this has been uh, a very exciting uh, part to transition um, to using fashion tech is something that has always interested me and I have a lot of passion for it. I chose this tip today about folding and using the fold tools in vStitcher because when I first started in the program, I was a little confused as to how it worked. Um, it worked a little differently than I was used to and I wasn't getting the results that I desired until someone actually gave me some tips on how to use it and it was like a light bulb moment for me. So I wanted to pass it on, hope that it helps uh, everyone today. And I hope you enjoy the demonstration. For this demonstration, I have already prepared a simple square pattern piece. So we need to add an internal line that will be our fold line. So we'll use the clone edges by offset. We'll set this to 10 centimeters extend the edges and click apply. We then select the line in order to add the fold. So we scroll down to line properties and show in 3D just so it's more visible. And we check fold. And already we see that the pattern piece is prepared at the fold angle. Now you have some options of what type of fold you would like. You have normal, sharp and soft. And as I click through these options, you notice that the prepare angle and the fold angle will adjust accordingly. These are also helpful guidelines. If you have something very specific in mind, you can also put in your own value between zero and 170 degrees. Now you always should have your prepare angle to be a little bit larger than your finished fold angle. Now this notch here, indicates the direction of the fold of which part of the pattern will stay stationary. In this case, it's the larger portion of the pattern piece. And when you click invert fold direction, the opposite happens and now the smaller portion is stationary. And you see this with the direction of where the notch is pointing on the pattern piece. Now, what if you wanted that smaller portion to be on the opposite side instead? Don't use the invert fold direction, but actually set the prepare angle to a negative value. And you see immediately it folds onto the other side as you wish. Now, in the cases of having a lining or a facing such as on a suit lapel, you will have two pieces that both fold. And you may have some issues with how the collision happens. So here the yellow piece represents the lining set at 3D layer one, and our gray fabric is our shell set at layer two. And when we put these two pieces together, you see that it's not wrapping nicely around the lining. The shell is inside the lining fold piece. So we can fix this by selecting the line and increasing the layer offset. And you see immediately, the shell fabric is wrapped nicely around the lining. Now this window, I have a garment that is already completed with a hidden placket that has a nice folded edge. But as I zoom in closely, I see that the edge is not as I intended. I wanted a sharp crease and for the placket to lay more flat. So I click on the folded edge and check that it's folded in the correct direction, which it is. I also scroll down to the fold properties and check that it is sharp. Everything looks okay, except the prepare angle should be at a negative value. So we check this to negative, and then we'll update the simulation. And we see already immediately, the crease of the fold becomes nice and sharp and lays flat just as I intended. Yes, this looks much better now as a hidden placket. I hope this tip was helpful for you. It was definitely helpful for me when I learned it. And have fun making 3D garments in V-Stitcher.